I want you to think about how much time it takes you to write a Canvas quiz from start to finish and how long you wish it would take. So if you've got those two numbers in mind, you can throw them into the comments. I want to show you how to write a quiz in less than five minutes, and we're going to use ChatGPT for that. So I want to show you the two tools, and then I'm going to start my timer and we'll see how quickly we can get this done. The first tool that I want to show you, there are actually several of these to choose from. It is a text to Canvas quiz converter. You can tell that I have already asked Google to find this for me. There are several that are created by different universities. All of these are open source and most of them are great. My favorite one happens to be this one from the New York Institute of Technology. I really like it because it gives you a text box so you can make changes here as opposed to a file that you upload, but the files are great as well. The other thing that I need to open, my second tool is gonna to be ChatGPT. So we know that ChatGPT does a lot of amazing things. We want it to write um, a quiz that I can convert to Canvas. And we're gonna do this using the format that we're given in our Canvas converter. Now I'm gonna write a 10 question quiz on logical fallacies. I want five that are multiple choice and five that are multiple answer where they choose all of the answers that apply. Um, so that means I'm gonna be using these two different formats right here. I think I'm ready to start that clock. So here we go. The very first thing that I wanna do is to do, let's do multiple choice questions first. I like to do these separately. So I'm going to copy this formatting using Control C to copy or Command C if you're on a Mac. So I've got that copied. I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT. I'm not gonna paste it yet. I wanna ask it to create my quiz. So create a five question multiple choice quiz on logical fallacies using the format below. I also know that I don't want it to use indents and I know that from lots of trial and error. Okay, and don't use indents. To paste that formatting below, I'm gonna do a shift followed by return and then control V to enter. And I'm ready to input that prompt. Okay, so here it comes and it actually looks really good. If it doesn't look like what you want, you might have to ask it again to make some changes, but I think I'm ready to copy this information. I'm not gonna want the wording up at the top, so I'm gonna remember that, but otherwise let's hit copy and go back to the exam converter and then scrolling down, I'll give this a title and this is my fallacy quiz. Points per question is one and I'm gonna paste my formatted exam, control V. Okay, now remember it had some stuff up on the top that I didn't want, so let's highlight that and get rid of it. I also don't want this space here at the top. And then one more warning, you should check. ChatGPT does a pretty good job, but it's only as smart as the internet, and it will make some mistakes here. So check through these, make sure they're what you want and then click check for syntax errors. Now I didn't have any, so I'm ready to do my multiple answer section. We're gonna add five more questions. Let me go and grab the multiple answer format. Here it is. I'm gonna highlight it to copy, so control copy. Back to ChatGPT, I'm gonna say, add five more questions. And I know just from experience that it's gonna start numbering them at number one. So I'm gonna say numbered six through 10. Um, but these are multiple answer where the students, where the student selects all examples that match the given fallacy type use the format below, don't use indents. Okay, shift return and then control V and let's go ahead and give it this input. And it looks really good. It does have some um, italics there. So I'm gonna say rewrite without italics. I don't know if it will actually listen to me or not, but we'll try. 
So it's asking me which response I prefer. I'm just gonna prefer the first one. I don't know, and I'm gonna hit copy. And let's see what it looks like in our exam converter. Scrolling back down to the bottom right here after number five, entering twice, control V. It didn't copy over any of those italics, so I'm super happy. I wanna get rid of this text because we don't want that there. And making sure there's no wording at the top or on the bottom. Let's check for syntax errors. Yay, it's ready. Let's convert it to that QTI file. And it is already done. It does it that quickly. Now I'm gonna to remember to choose the second one. I've been practicing these. Okay, um, over to Canvas. We want to import existing content. So I choose import existing content. We want on content type to scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose that qti.zip file. I'm gonna choose the file from my downloads and I want this one right here and then open. Let's go ahead and put it into a question bank and I'm gonna call this question bank um, practice quiz and imports. So it's gonna take just a few minutes here. Now we went ahead and had ChatGPT generate a quiz for us, but you could also type the quiz out yourself or convert a quiz that you already have in a word format into the format here and oh my gosh, it's already done. Okay, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's take a look at our quiz. I'm gonna to go to our quizzes tab and here's our fallacy quiz. I'm gonna click on it and I've got all of my questions here. You could edit the questions, which I would highly recommend, but if I click preview, you'll see that we've got all of the questions there, moving from multiple choice over to multiple answer. I would love to know how else you use ChatGPT, especially when it comes to Canvas. Check out this one next.